Whenever we publish a video on this channel, we always take time to go through a few comments and whenever I read through the comments on our videos, I often read things like, This cannot work in my country. Political leaders have destroyed my country. America was better years ago. African leaders have destroyed the economy. And so on. In today's video, I want to tell you the reasons why you should stop complaining about your country. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Here is my personal story. When I was around age 17, one of my stepbrothers came to me with a form. Upon checking the form, I saw that it was a US visa lottery form. I felt insulted that my brother wanted me to run away from my country because of money. So I didn't fill that form. About two weeks after, when my brother got to know that I didn't fill the form he gave me, he was angry with me. As I grew up in my country, one major thing I noticed is that everyone wants to run away from our country. They complain about poverty and unemployment and they think that the other side of the world is green. I've always believed that it's insulting for me to think that any other country in the world is better than my country or to think that there are no opportunities for wealth creation in my country. Today, I make more money from my country than most people who have run away to places they considered greener pastures and before some of you start to fight me in the comment, I'm from a poor country in Africa. So, you wouldn't think that I'm lucky and that's why I talk this way. Don't close your mind. Think about this. As you concentrate on this video with your eyes, you cannot see anything else except you shift your attention away from this video. This is because your eyes can only concentrate on a single object at a time. The same thing applies to your mind. Your mind cannot hold two beliefs at the same time. So when you believe that your country is bad, your mind will look for facts to convince you of such belief. If you're an American, for example, and believe that the corporate guys have destroyed your country, your mind will help you look for evidence to support such belief. And the more you reinforce such false belief, the less opportunity for wealth creation you'll see in your country. If you're an African and you believe everything the whole world is saying about your continent, then your only goal will be to run away from your country. You'll pursue this with all your might. I know people who'd take a loan from a bank because they wanted to go to Europe from Africa. Thousands die in the Mediterranean Sea every month just because they have made their minds to believe that their country is doomed. Don't close your mind from the opportunities in your country by complaining about everything. Instead, learn how to solve the problem everyone is complaining about. Problem and money. I don't know why most people don't get the simple thing. The problem is money. I have understood that money is an inside problem since I was a young guy. With this mindset, whenever I hear people complaining about things in my country, I simply think about how I can create a solution to one or two things they are complaining about. Don't get me wrong. You can never have the power to solve certain problems in your country. But if you are positive minded, there may be one you can solve and that one is enough to make you all the money you ever need. Take for instance, while growing up, one of the major problems everyone in my country complained about is the problem of unemployment. When I heard people complaining that there was no job in my country, instead of joining them complaining, I told myself, I'll create a company that gives people jobs. Yes, it wasn't easy as I had to sacrifice eight years of my life trying to figure out how to achieve my dream. But today, I have a company that gives people good jobs. Yes, I've not been able to employ a hundred people yet, but does it matter? What matters is that I created jobs for certain people through a company that makes me enough money to pay them and myself comfortably and this is possible only because I believe in my country. The problem in your country is money. Stop complaining about them, look for one or two problems you can solve and love your country for whatever it is. You can hate the politician. Yes, you can hate politicians but don't hate your country because your country is your mother. She gave birth to you. Most people don't get this. Politicians are humans. You may decide not to like any human being and that's fine. But that doesn't have to affect your love for your country. Some people hate entrepreneurs and that's fine. You may not like entrepreneurs but don't hate entrepreneurship. Because entrepreneurship is the easiest way to solve a significant problem and make a whole lot of money doing so. 
The reason why it's important that you love your country and believe in her is that you can't help who you hate. Your country needs you to help her. Your country needs more entrepreneurs, and she depends on you. Your country needs to produce more innovative products and services for the world, and she depends on you to come up with it. This is only possible if you love your country. How can you solve a problem in your country when you wake up every day to complain about everything? How can you help your country when you don't believe in her? Excuse makers. I have heard so many people say that those who are rich are mostly those who came from the middle class or rich family. That's a mere belief and not a fact, because fact shows exactly the opposite of that. According to Thomas J. Stanley's book, *The Millionaire Next Door*, only 20% of millionaires inherited their riches. The other 80% is what you'll call nouveau rich, first-generation millionaires who earn their cash on their own. Nobody is stopping you. Stop making excuses. Be open-minded and seek opportunities for wealth creation. The land is green and the bill is high. Some countries of the world are poor, but when you work on their street, you'll not see a single normal, educated human being who is homeless. Some of the countries of the world are very rich, but they have thousands of hardworking, educated yet homeless people. Why is this so? Well, though the land is green on the other side, the bill too is high. If you're an African. And you have a friend who lives in California and earns thirty thousand dollars a year. That is a lot of money in your country. But this guy is poorer than most people in your country because of the reality of where he lives. That's the truth. If you're starting a business in the United States, for example, you have all these social amenities readily available for you. But you also have all these legal processes and tough competitions. If you're starting a company in India or Africa, you may lack many amenities. But you have less sophisticated competition. Why am I telling you all these? It's simple. If you divorce your wife because she doesn't dress well, you'll marry another wife. But she will use all your money to buy pieces of jewelry because she dresses too much. Nowhere is perfect in the world. Every nation has its own headaches. You can travel anywhere you like or even live in any country of your choice. But always remember, your country isn't as bad as you believe. Your complaint and excuses. Are what close your mind to the opportunities around you. Stop complaining. Stop making excuses. Start creating solutions. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you love the subject of money, we're glad to invite you to our new channel. We call it Money TV, and you can join by clicking the link at the description box. We love you.